Welcome back to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to animate. So, when you animate something, you animate everything pretty much the same. I'm not going to say you animate everything exactly the same, but pretty much the same. And that's using the properties of animation. And there are only five. So if you come to this logo layer, well, I will be putting this as a file in the description if you want to download and follow along. So, first thing you would like to do, well, first thing I would like to show you is on this layer, click this disclosure triangle. You will see transform here. And if you click the triangle next to transform, you see these five properties. You see opacity, rotation, scale, position, and anchor point. Um, these are the five properties. They all have shortcuts. So, A is anchor point, P is position, S is scale, R is rotation, and T is opacity. I don't know why it's T. And together, this spells traps. So, you got T for opacity, so you just click T. And then R for rotation, A for anchor point, P for position and S for scale. Okay, and in this one, I'm going to be messing with the opacity, so I'm going to click T. You can open multiple properties by pressing Shift and the shortcut. So if I wanted to press T and P, so position, so I press P while holding Shift. But at the moment, I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to click T just for opacity. Okay. If you come down, you know, it, only look, it all looks the same. So, with any animation, to make an animation, you would like to click this stopwatch here. So, I'm going to put this at 0%, actually. So, it starts out completely blank so I'm going to put a stopwatch there and when you use the stopwatch you get a keyframe that's the little orange code thing here yeah you get the keyframe and each animation property or whatever you wish to call it it gives you a keyframe so I'm going to come about and let's say about four seconds and I'm going to make this 100% and you see it as a new keyframe so if I press space no 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 my bad so if I come all the way here again press space you see that it fades in right now it's going very slowly but you see that it's fading in yes so since I made that 4 seconds, if I come to about 2 seconds and put it at 50, or well, yeah, it's already at 50. Okay. So I'm going to go a bit. Okay you see that it fades in now what you would like to do is but it's not what you would like to do it's what you can do so you can make it continue like come here and make it zero again so it fades in and fades out and fades in and fades out well anyways come back to 100% you can do a lot here so I can rotate it I'm not going to rotate it because that would be completely ridiculous so so like if I want to rotate it like rotate it about 86 per 86 degrees at 50 like when it fades in at 50, it rotates to 86. 
that would make more sense if I would have added a stopwatch here and set it to zero. two seconds yeah anyway about two seconds I time it to about mm, about 90 degrees okay and then as it fade in more about three seconds I time it at 180 Change it to about two, two thirty, two thirty seven is what I got. Okay, and at four seconds, which is full, we're gonna put it at three sixty. So it's completely rotated back around. Well, or back to zero, not three sixty. Should be three sixty, but okay. And if you come back here and push the play button. You see that it rotates as it fades in. I think that's pretty cool. It's going kind of slow as usual, but yeah. I think that's pretty cool how it turns and rotates and all that. And then when it fades 100% in, it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty cool so that's the end of this tutorial you can play around with the animations you know just learn some on your own in the next tutorial I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna be doing until it comes so thanks for watching subscribe rate comment and I know that soon I'm going to be showing you how to make a intro for your videos because I know I don't even have one myself and I need one so see you in the next tutorial